This is Will with Stogie Geeks. I'm here with a Stogie Geek shorts. I'm here with my good friend Nate McIntyre. Nate, how you doing today? Hey, doing well, Coop. Thanks. Nate is, a lot of people know, he is the uh, Eastern Sales Manager for Cubanacon Cigars. And now he's added a new, um, I guess, title to his resume. It's Brand Owner of Percy Ray Cigars. That's correct. That's so, correct. so, Nate, why a cigar brand? Um, well, it was an idea that we had um, at the company uh, you know, a while back. Um, I, I didn't sign on with Cubanacon with any uh, intentions to do it, but we had had such really good success uh, in the territory and you know around the country um, that it kind of made sense to uh, the folks at the company, and, and it made sense to me too to do something kind of unique. We wanted to do something uh, that was somewhat unique, somewhat different from uh, your average business model. Um, and it just kind of came up as a brainstorming. The idea hit me as far as the brain and all that pretty quickly, and, and everybody liked it, so we rolled with it. That's excellent. So let's get into a little background of sure. Percy Ray Cigars now. I think uh, for folks who are familiar with it, um, Percy Ray um, is your grandfather. Correct. He's my father's father. Um, I grew up on a farm in northwest Alabama. Uh, he has worked himself to almost, almost to death for his entire life. And, uh, you know, he's one of those guys, you know, everybody has in their life um, those people that really influence them, that really, uh, that they really look up to, that they really admire. My grandfather, he's the head of our family. Um, he's a quiet guy. He's, he's, he lets my grandmother do all the talking. Um, but he was one of those guys that everybody that knows him admires him. I've learned a lot from him. And uh, he's the type of guy that would never ask for credit for anything, so that's why I did it. So is he a cigar enthusiast? He's not. He's not. He is a. Uh, he was converted to uh, rather conservative Christianity when he was a young man, and so he's he stayed away from it. He had his hell raising days back in the day, um, but uh, he was one of those also at the same time that never. Uh, if you need my lighter here, you gotta go. If uh, he was one of those that back in the day he 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 learned you know to never really judge anybody for anything like that. So. Being what he is, being who he is, he still was very happy that uh, that I was able to get into the cigar business and meet a lot of you folks and do good work and work hard. That's all he really cared about. Uh, just a good, good man. So you went to him and you said, Grandpa, I, 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 got I call him Pop. Pop, okay. Yeah. I got a cigar. I'm going to do the cigar brand and I, I want to do it in tribute to you. How did, how did that conversation go? Well, I actually... Um, I actually told him about it at last year's Christmas. Uh, that was my uh, that was my Christmas present to him. And uh, so, that being said, um, he was, you know, honestly, I don't really think that he knows or he, that he knew what to think of it. Uh -huh. But he sat there with his he ha he has to get around on a walker now because he's broken his neck in two places. And oh. He's got three replaced hips and multiple back surgeries. He's a little slower than he used to be. He's 87. Um, but he, uh, he was the time, you know, he just kind of sat there around the Christmas gathering with the family and just kind of grinned from ear to ear. And that's all I really needed to know. Um, I, I didn't ask him if I was going to do it. I told him because if I'd asked him, he'd have said, don't do it. I don't need that. Uh -huh. Um, but I, I, I told him and I was, it was a really cool moment for me to be able to, uh, to be able to provide that. Excellent. Excellent. So you mentioned that with Percy Ray Cigars, you wanted to do something different. Yeah. What did you do different? Uh, in terms of the blend or in terms of the model? Or Let's talk about the model first and we'll get into the blend. Well, it is kind of unique what we're doing because I'm, I'm still very much serving all my accounts in my territory uh, as part of the sales force for Kubanicon and everything that we manufacture. Um, in addition to that, I'm brand owner of Percy Race Cars. Um, so it's kind of a hybrid model where you know I'm selling everything, uh, what's appropriate in each store, and then on top of that, I, I get to present this. Right. Uh, now, blend-wise, um, I wanted, you know, I, I always like, you know, when it's a limited edition, we're, you know, first of all, we're doing this as a limited edition. Right. Uh, I wanted to dip my toe in because, uh, you know, just being honest, everybody thinks their cigar is the greatest cigar in the history of planet Earth right. until it doesn't sell. And, uh, you know, I, I speak, I think, as a salesperson. Right. Um, so with this, I wanted to start with something that was Small batch, small production, limited, just to see how it would how it would take off. 
and uh, it sold out very, very quickly. And for that, I'm very thankful. Um, Blend-wise, I'm, I'm a huge fan of unique tobacco. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there that's kind of, you know, rinse, repeat. Uh, and they're good cigars. But on a limited edition, I believe a limited edition should highlight some should highlight tobacco that is unique, bring something special to the consumer. Because when you give somebody a cigar, you are taking from them an hour of their life. You might as well make it a good hour that you give them, right? Um, so in this, I'm a huge fan, and I always have been, I'm a huge fan of Cameroon. Um, I'm a huge fan of Cameroon wrapper, uh, Cameroon tobacco. But I found oftentimes it was used on a lot milder stuff. Uh, so in this case, I set out to make a, a fuller body Cameroon, you know, Cameroon highlighted cigar. Um, and that was my goal with that, was to do something, you know, kind of left-handed curveball. I'm going to confess, I did not know that before this interview that you had a Cameroon wrapper on this. Um, I know we've talked a little about the yeah. body, but we hadn't talked about the blend. Right. Um, and I'm just telling you, I get the Cameroon, I get the Cameroon, and I'm getting the full body mm -hmm. absolutely off this thing. It's a darker, it's a darker Cameroon that I'm seeing on here too. It is. It's a dark Cameroon wrapper, a little higher up on the plant yeah. than, than a lot of, you know, it's not a Seco wrapper. Uh, it's, you know, the two things that I, I love and hate Cameroon, because right. Cameroon flavor is amazing, right. but it's brittle, and, you know, or what, you know, what we're used to is, is that it's brittle and it doesn't handle uh, temperature changes well, it doesn't handle being uh, manhandled in a humidor very well, um, and I wanted to avoid that. And when we were down in Nicaragua at the Cabanacan factory and, and I saw this, I thought it was perfect. Because when you hold the hands of the tobacco up, it's brown and thick and dark. Like I said, it's not Seiko, it's Visa. Um, so it was, I fell in love with it. Absolutely fell in love with it. We paired it with uh, all Nicaraguan binders and fillers. Really nice, rich Nicaraguan Lajero in there. And I think, you know, we closed the foot on it. So that's another thing. When you like when you like the cigar, it is a closed foot, so you get nothing but that thicker Cameroon. Yeah. And then you get that the strength of the Lajero as you're smoking through the cigar. Um, it's one of those cigars I'm really proud to say. I, be, I believe that it's full body, and you know I can say as you know as you smoke through it, it's it's medium full strength, which is rare. Yeah. Yep. Um, but I really I'm really really pleased and excited about this one. Yeah. This is this is very. I mean, like I said, it's got. It's not. It, 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 I can see this being like a connoisseur type of cigar. I yeah. honestly can see that. Um, you know, and especially like I said, this is a beautiful. The wrapper is actually really beautiful. Let me get it off the camera. But now, as far as sizes, that you're you've gone with a Toro. Mm -hmm. Is this a six and a half by fifty? It's six by fifty. Six by fifty. Okay. One size, one blend, ten count box. If people, you know, the people that are getting Percy Ray, they're all getting the exact same cigar, and that's my goal. With this limited edition, um, I really like keeping it simple for the customer, making sizes that a lot of people smoke, um, and uh, making it to where it's just a no-brainer. You know, I want to keep it simple because there's so many options out there, and can confuse. You know, stores can can get kind of caught up and they don't know what to get, they don't know what to do. In this case, there it is. It's simple. One one and done. Ten count boxes. Ten count box. Now, in terms of why you went with the Toro, keeping it simple, do you find, in terms of being in the field, that that is the size that, that people want? The six by fifty is the number one smoked size in America. Right. I mean, you recently added it to the Cabanacon portfolio. Yeah, correct. So, yeah. And we've got those added to the to the core line: uh, Cabanacon, Connecticut, Cabano, and Maduro. Um, it is the number one selling size. Um, so I figured it's a no-brainer. If, if you're going to introduce something new, you might as well make it the most palatable. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the, the most easily chosen. Right. So limited edition. How many boxes again? Eight hundred. So now, after that run's done, is this? Are you able to get more of this Cameroon tobacco? Well, um, we have uh, we have some things planned. Um, although this cigar is all there is. Eight hundred ten yeah. count boxes. And um, after that, you know, we're, we've got a lot of things on the drawing board, but uh, as far as the 6x50 Cameroon Toro Percy Ray, you got to get it now because I'm not going to make any more. Right. And I'm looking at the artwork on this box, and it's got a very much that, it's got kind of a retro vibe to mm -hmm. it. Um, talk about a little, I, I know that there is a lot that went into this design. Right. 
I wish I could keep an ash off of myself because I just spritz it. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, talk about the design? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, my grandfather's a real old school guy. Right. And I wanted something that kind of reminded you of the gas station that we used to eat chicken and cheese sandwiches right. at when I would work on the farm with him when I was a kid. Um, there is symbolism all throughout, uh, all throughout the logo of Percy Ray. Um, the uh, Circle Stars is an homage to the state of Tennessee now where I live. Uh, so that was something that was more about me and my family. Uh, the hand with the dagger is our Scottish uh, family emblem. Uh, per ardua is Latin, it's our family motto, it means through difficulty. Uh, 1928 was the year that my grandfather was born. And then uh, above it you'll see a setting sun. Uh, he, he would always tell you it's really powerful when you see a man that's worked that hard his entire life, tell you he doesn't have a regret in the world after 87 years of living. Um, and it's just the setting sun reminding me to not have any regrets at the end of the day. And the five stars above it represent five very important people to me and my grandfather. Uh, that's my grandmother, my wife, my father, and my two boys. Oh, that's great. Um, and so it's it's very much a, a very much a family operation, very much a, a family thing. And I, I figured if I had, you know, I, I looked at it at this way. If we did absolutely nothing in the future with this, if this was just a one and done, I wanted to have fun with it, and I wanted this to be a very solid way of saying thank you to a man that has meant everything in the world to me. And for those of you, I mean, there's a number of you guys out there that. You know that I sit with in retail stores. I, the one that comes to mind is Bluegrass Cigar Suite up in Williamstown, Kentucky. Um, they, you know, we we swap grandparent stories all day long. Every time I come in, it ends up being something about my crazy grandmother or or my grandfather putting up with her. Um, I mean, she's an 81 year old lady that carries a Glock 22 and works out at the YMCA and has an iPad and a Twitter account and all that. I mean, we've got a funny family. Um, but I wanted this to be something that inspired people to think about. The important people in their lives too and just celebrate that I wanted it to be something for, for good people it's not meant to be some badass brand it's not meant to be edgy it's not meant to be that I wanted this to be something just somewhat pure wholesome that made people think about good stuff so that's why you know our hashtag my hashtag is good cigars good people that's what it's about just make a good cigar for good people all the good people that have supported me all these years out there in the retail stores that have fed my family by buying my cigars or the cigars that I sell. Um, in a way, this is an homage to my grandfather, and in a way, this is payback to them. I just wanted to I wanted to bring something good to good people. Yeah, I, this is this is fantastic. Thank By you. the way, this is really good. Thank you. This is really good. Now, when could or when could retailers start to expect to see this on the shelves? It is now sold out. Uh, first of all. It's going to go to, if I, if memory serves me correctly, it's going to go to around right under 40 retailers nationwide, uh, all but three of which are in my territory. Um, they will start shipping in smaller quantities because a lot of retailers wanted them before the holidays. Plan is right now December 14th, Monday, December 14th will be the ship date. Um, the, uh, the launch event that we have planned is at Riverside Cigars in Jeffersonville, Indiana nice. on December 11th. Okay. And then after that, um, the retailers that have chosen to receive some before the holidays will get small shipments, and then the rest will start going out in the first quarter as we do events and, and that type of thing. Excellent. Um, so uh, it has been, you know, when I, when I first started with it, I was thinking, you know, sometimes it's taken me a while to get something moving like that. Um, but in this case, it took a total of about two weeks to sell out the vast majority of the allotment, um, I've got I've had retailers from as far away as Washington State call me and say, "How do we get Percy Ray?" Uh, which, thank you, it's weird to me, but thank you. Um, I, I don't know I don't know how the hell you know me, but thank you. Um, and uh, so we're we're gonna start shipping those out before the holidays and uh, get them while you can. The retail the retail price on them is gonna be around nine dollars a cigar, which I think is really reasonable, especially for a very limited cigar. And for those of you junkies out there, these things are going to age really, really well. It's, uh, this is, like I said, it's medium to full body. It's full flavor. Mm -hmm. um, I'm getting a, I'm getting a wonderful sweetness, really balanced with some nice spice on this thing. But it's not overpowering, and you get kind of a little bit of, of each of the two. Yeah. So I'm getting a little bit of a Nicaraguan, I think, flair to it. I'm getting a little of that Cameroon sweetness. Um, will these be banded when they come out? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, they will have bands, actually double banded. Okay. Um, we just had not had the bands are in production right now, so it was a matter. Of, I wanted to I wanted to make sure and get. I had one bundle of them when I came right. back from Nicaragua, and of course the bands weren't ready. Right. <laughs> There'll be a nice vista on the inside of the box, and the exterior of the box is done. Right. So uh, I'm I'm really really excited about it. I just wanted to make something cool. Right. And Percy Ray, it's it's going to be an ongoing brand. It's this is not it. You know. We're going to be talking about that in the future uh, and in the near future. Um, based on the response, it doesn't look like this brand is going away anytime soon. Yeah. Um, you know, we don't have anything official to announce. You know, that stuff that we're going to look at it, but um, it it does seem that that people really are interested in this, and for that, I'm very thankful. We're going to keep trying to entertain you guys, give you something good. Now, just again, when you talk about the retail, is this thing sold out? They didn't. You didn't give them this cigar. No. So they just kind of you kind of went to them with this concept, and that's a great job you've done. 800 boxes, saw 800 boxes. Thank you. That is a great job, and and I've got to say the cigars absolutely living up to it, um, to expectations. So Thank you. yeah. Well, nobody's as stunned about that as as I am. Um, right. Because yeah, when I started calling retailers, um, Jeff at Riverside, uh, Donald in Madison, Alabama, you know, there's a number of guys, and I, I can't name them all because I, you know, I'll forget somebody. But um, they said, Nate, we believe in you, and yes, we'll we'll do this. Let's rock and roll. Um, I I did not have any samples of it uh, until a couple of weeks ago. Uh, because we wanted it to be exactly right. Right. And uh, yeah, they they bought sight unseen, and uh, so that's you know honestly, it's more pressure on me to do something really good. Right. Um. And, and I think we've done it. Uh, so I'm I'm really really pleased. Yeah. I mean this is this is this is smoking fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. In terms of um, what else has been happening in terms of um things at Kubanacon and Kubanacon and. We keep on going. Keep doing what we do. Mm -hmm. um, we've, you know, the Maderos line is getting out there. Uh, Kubanacon keeps going to the going to the good people. Um, we've introduced some other uh, good retailer projects that my retailers are aware of. Um, so we just keep on doing what we do. And uh, you know, once again, it's small. It's a family operation. Um, no delusions of grandeur or anything like that. We just keep just trying to make cigars and. Do good work and, and just let it get out. Yeah, but I know the new Toro in yes. the Kabanakan kind has of hit the shelves. Um, mm -hmm. I know it's hit my local retailer, so that's doing very well. And yes, uh, that's Union Cigars in North Carolina. Yep. Because Coop won't plug you, I will. Yeah. Because I'm you. awesome like that. Right. Yeah. No, that's great. Awesome. Awesome. Nate, best of luck. I mean, Thank you this, very is, much. this is a fantastic cigar. This is the Percy Ray cigar. Um, you got to check this out. Um, I'm really impressed with this. Um, Nate, thanks again. I know uh, we'll be talking soon, and uh, best of luck. Absolutely. Take Thank care. You.